Greetings and welcome to No BS Baking. We've got JP here. Now, today we're going to talk a little bit about ovens and which is the best oven to use. I've had a number of people ask me, is it convection? Is it conventional? What's conduction? Uh, wood fired, can you use those? What we're going to do is we're going to talk about the different types of ovens and which products are best baked in which types of ovens. And so, because I'm, there's so many different types of ovens, I'm going to pull some experience and some information that I have from um, the industrial baking sector. These guys got it figured out. They know the types of ovens that they need for the different types of products. And all of this translates down for the home baker. And so we will get into all of this uh, in this video. So let's go. So which oven is the best oven for baking bakery products in? Well, that just depends on who you ask and where you look online. It, there's a whole bunch of conflicting information. Some people say conventional is better. Some people say convection is better. Uh, you know, but there's so many different types of ovens that you have out there also. You've got old ones, you've got retro ones, you've got toaster ovens, you've got gas ovens, and you even still have people that are baking in clay or stone ovens, which they have been doing the same way for literally thousands of years. Now, if you go walking down the street and pop into your little local bakery, the chances are you're going to see an oven that looks something like this. Now, these are convection ovens. They have big steam injection mostly, and uh, these make a popular choice among bakers. So, is a convection steam oven the absolute best for bakery products? Let's take a look at each of the oven types. So as we alluded to in one of the previous slides there, one of the most common types of ovens that you're going to see in any of these small little bakeries is a convection, a rotary or rack styled oven that has steam injection. Now these are mainly used for the production of artisan style breads, crispy rolls, French breads, baguettes, this type of stuff. Now. They can be used for other types of products, and in these types of ovens, you do have an option for reducing fan speeds in many of the newer models, and which is very important, and we'll talk about that. They're used by the little local bakeries because they're uh, productive, they're very fast at, at, at baking, they're efficient from an energy standpoint, and they're versatile. You can bake a lot of different types of products in there. So... This is part of the reason why they employ these items here. Now, you have to remember that when you're buying a convection oven for your home, it's a little bit different. Yeah, you're still getting the, the hot air blowing around, as I've indicated in this little picture here, and you're getting it pulled back in. And yes, you get a very uniform temperature throughout your entire baking chamber. Um, however, you've got this hot air that's just being blown around. Now, many bakers will tell you that convection ovens aren't the best for, for products that require rising or oven lift because of this drying or hardening effect on the exterior of the product. Most bakeries will use these types of ovens for their efficiency and uh, for their versatility. However, they will use them with steam. Steam is the saving grace. Uh, it keeps the exterior of the product uh, moist enough so that you don't get that crisping over. And that is one of the reasons why these, these types of ovens have usually very good steam injection systems in them. And uh, they really moisten up that bread nice because without that, you would start having um, some issues with oven rise. Now, they can bake up to, a, a standard convection oven can bake up to 25% faster than conventional ovens. You need less preheat time. And of course, you get more even heating around the product. But as I previously mentioned, they have a tendency to dry the product out more. 
So if you're doing things like um, cakes or these, um, these souffles or batter style bakery goods, not only do you have a lot of wind to contend with, which is not desirable for these types of products, but you've also got a drying effect on the external of the product and you have to remember that that product wants to rise in the oven. That's the whole trick behind cakes. You start off as a batter and then you get a nice fluffy cake out of it. Convection ovens are not the best for these. Can you use them? Yes, of course. Are they the best? Many bakers will say, stay away from them. Also remember, you can reduce oven spring and lift for some baked goods, not just cakes, but I'm talking about breads also, if you don't have steam, enough steam in there. This hot air blowing around will crisp over the, the uh, out external of that bread, not allowing it uh, to easily expand, ultimately resulting in a uh, lower volume potentially and uh, maybe even a doughier internal because um, of this lack of expansion. So a general rule of thumb is though if you're using a convection oven, you can reduce the temperature by around 25 degrees and keep your keep your an eye on the time because they are very well known for baking much faster. So depending on what you're baking and what your time frame is, keep a close eye until you feel your, your oven out and its performance based on the types of products that you're producing. Okay, so as a recap, convection ovens are awesome because they're good for a broad range of baking applications. And I'm not just talking bread here. I'm talking about the turkeys, the casseroles, the... Anything else you want to stick in that oven, they do a real bang up job on a broad range of items. Are they the best for baking? Uh, bakery products, as I mentioned previously, the golden rule is there is that if you're baking a product that requires rise, convection ovens are not uh, the most desirable. Now, you get faster baking than conventional ovens, as I mentioned, less time, less temperature, and remember about the steam. Yeah, you can incorporate steam in there as you can, as you can with, a, with a conventional oven. Many little tricks in the, that you can see online where guys are putting ice cubes under a lid that goes over the top, or, or even potentially using a Dutch oven, uh, which works would, would work fantastic in there. But just remember that when you're baking with convection, you will be getting that crust drying out really, really quick. And so when you're baking bread products or anything that has any type of rise requirements out of it, a little bit of moisture really will help. Now, I don't need to beat these to death, but I already said it. Tendency to produce dryer final product. And remember the air movement, how it can negatively affect batter style products. Ideally, you'd want an oven, a convection oven, that you could turn off the, the convection portions of it uh, if you were uh, baking these types of batter-style breads, or even some normal breads for that matter. So, anyway, there you go. Conventional versus convection. It's really all about who you ask. Conventional ovens are basically an element at the bottom of the baking chamber, which um, heats up and ultimately gives off heat to uh, warm up or heat up the chamber and, and give you your baking through that uh, through that process. Now many bakers prefer conventional oven versus convection. Once again it's back to this rise. If you want rise and it's kind of a golden rule in there when then a baking in a conventional oven is better and that includes things like cakes, and souffles, any of the batter styled um, um, products that you might be baking. Um, but conventional ovens also do a fantastic job for um, most breads. Uh, the, actually, they do a fantastic job for all breads. However, many breads require steam uh, and a conventional oven is not the uh, well, unless you have a steam injection or you've got a, a process, like maybe you're using a Dutch oven or something like that, 
creating the steam inside a, con a conventional oven can be a little bit tricky. But if you've got a steam injection conventional, that's the better. And as a matter of fact, most commercial and industrial equipment supply places will still recommend deck ovens with a steam over convection ovens. I also just threw in a quickie here on the conduction oven. This was the predecessor of convection, but just like vinyl records, it's gone by the wayside. Uh, and now convection is the, um, is the go-to uh, style of oven that's being produced. Conduction basically isn't uh, around anymore. Many ovens will have this uh, top and bottom heat uh, settings that you can put it to whereby both elements will heat up, say, inside your oven. Um, generally, that's not really desired in, in baking, home baking anyway. Yeah, the large bakeries will, will utilize this type of thing, but they're very scientific with it. A lot of times uh, these uh, top zones are reduced in temperature. And when you're dealing with tunnel ovens and big revolving ovens and stuff like that, they have many zones and they can fine tune everything, turn off some, turn on others. And so you're getting really into the scientific part of uh, more of an industrial type of baking. So for the home baker, just forget about that. Whether it's conventional or convection alike, stick with bottom heat and that's all you really need. So what is it? Now, is it electric oven or is it gas oven? Which is better? Well, that's really, you know, up to the personal preferences of the baker. Many bakers still really prefer using gas, especially gas deck ovens. Uh, the one real big benefit about gas is it gives off moisture during burning and it reduces moisture loss of the baked item. So you've got a more, a more moisture inside your baking chamber. It doesn't dry the product out as much as electric would. Now, you've got to keep in mind too that the new tech that's coming out with electric is uh, really get, getting, it's really getting amazing. and. In many um, um, instances, well, most instances that I've seen out there, uh, the newer electric ovens outperform their gas counterparts on nearly every level. So the one thing about the about the electric, though, remember you. You, you get a drier product, but that's also perfect for, for the home, home use because you can crisp up your products easier uh, than you can, uh, say, using a gas oven. And lastly, if I was going to look at buying an oven for my home kitchen, I think I would lean towards an electric convection oven just for the versatility that it gives me. You know, I, I could cook a, a beautiful turkey in there, I could cook a roast, I can do casseroles, I can do bread, I can do a whole range of different things. But one of the things that I would look at is I would want to make sure that with my oven I had an adjustable fan speeds. I don't want it blowing at one hard speed. Uh, throughout the entire baking cycle. And this is critical, as I mentioned earlier, especially when you start getting into cakes and these batter types of uh, baked products. And I'd also want to make sure that I had the option for a convection off. I'd, in other words, I could use it as a standard oven uh, with no convection in there. Now, if I could find one with steam injection uh, to boot, whoa, I got it made. You've got the best of the uh, best of all of the uh, things that you could possibly want in an oven for everything that you want to do. Now, if I was going to open up a small bakery or I wanted to get you know, kind of a little bit more serious about my baking, then I would probably, first of all, think about the types of products that I'd want to produce. But I have, would have a tendency to follow the experience and expertise of the experts. And from my experience in the baking industry, I would probably go with a small conventional deck oven with steam injection for sure. I would not buy any oven 
um, for commercial uh, or you know just to produce breads if I was looking at selling it or making a small business from it or anything like that without steam injection and I would probably lean towards gas uh, for my particular application so that's that thank you for watching the video if you liked what you saw Please give me a like and a subscribe, it really helps me out as I'm getting this channel going here. And be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have sitting right over here. Uh, we'll see you next time. No BS breaking.